what's going on everyone so in today's video as you guys already know we're going over the world challenge deck explain giving you guys an in-depth analysis of how the deck works and how each and every card plays now if you guys do not know how link summoning works so you guys are a little, still a little bit funny about link summoning you can click the card right here and i give an in-depth analysis of link summoning breaking it down on how to properly link summon but yeah, man, the reason why I wanted to do this video is specifically because the World Chalice deck, while it's not one of the best decks in the game right now, it does have a lot of potential. And I noticed that potential based on when I went to my locals last week and played against the deck and saw how powerful it really was. So as I always tell you guys, without further ado, let's begin. all right everybody so as you guys already know this is the world chalice explain and in-depth analysis to the deck and like i said in the intro i'm just going to be breaking down every simple thing that this deck has to offer as far as the monster effects how they interact with each other etc etc and i will also be showing a pretty good replay showing off the deck's power so let's begin starting out by saying why is this deck good the deck is good because of three reasons mainly it's fast and spammy it's Konami's first link deck, meaning it's over time it's just gonna get better. Um, we have evidence to this due to decks like Cleefort, where when they first came out, they were good, they just weren't meta right away. Then over time, they got better and better until Konami finally decided to hit it with the, the band hammer. And from playing against the deck personally myself, it has a great grind game. The normal monsters. Now, the World Chalice deck is pretty much a normal monster based deck that go into the combos with effect monsters and they you pretty much all utilize the link mechanic. So you have the crown by the World Chalice right here. She's a two star spellcaster normal with a beefy defense of 2100. You have Beckoned by the World Chalice, which is a warrior, 1800 attack, zero defense, which is not that bad. And he's level four. Then you have Chosen by the World Chalice, which is a level three. 1600 zero defense and he's a psychic type so that's something to keep note about because it can be recruited with things such as um that psychic card what name i can't think of right now but for the most part all of these normal monsters make the deck what it pretty much does because they all go into some of the main monsters which we'll be getting to in the later of this video the effect monsters now all of the effect monsters pretty much seem to have their tutoring searching or spamming abilities World Challenge Guard Dragon right here. Effect pretty much reads. When a card or effect is activated, it targets your linked monster. This is a quick effect. You can send this card from your hand or fill to the graveyard. Negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Then target one normal monster in your graveyard. Special summon in defense position to your, to your zone a linked monster points to. You can only use this effect if World Challenge Guard Dragon once per turn. So the Guard Dragon pretty much is a hand trap for the deck, protecting it from things such as Ghost Ogre, Snow Rabbit, Effect Veiler, I mean the list can go on. We also have cards like World Legacy to World Challenge, which is a level 5 Dark Machine, 0 attack, 0 defense, Effect back pretty much reads, if a monster or monsters is special summoned from the extra deck, except during a damage step, you contribute this card, send that monster or monsters to the graveyard. You can only use the effect of World Chalice Legacy once per turn. If this face up normal summon slash set card leaves the field, you can special summon two World Chalice monsters from your deck, except World Chalice, World Chalice to Legacy. During your main phase, except turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, add one World Legacy card from your deck to your hand. So overall, World Legacy to World Chalice is pretty much the creme de la creme to the deck. It tutors up to two uh, World Chalice monsters from your deck. With his, um, with his first effect, and then his other effect when he's, when a monster, monster special summon from the extra deck, you contribute him to abuse his other effects. So overall, World Legacy, World Chalice is a really great card. Then we have Lee the World Chalice right here. The Lee is a level two fairy, light. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one World Chalice monster from your deck to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one monster from your hand or field to the graveyard. Add this card to your hand. You can only use 
each effect of Leo to wear a talisman per turn. So you pretty much can normal summon her, tutor out your guard dragon, and then abuse guard dragon with um, Lee. So they're pretty much a good combo together. And but to keep in mind, you can only use her well, each of her effects once per turn. And she also have a beefy defense of 2,000. Good monsters for the deck. Now, the first two set of monsters are pretty much the main monsters you guys will see in the deck. Um, most builds I've seen online and at locals run these three key monsters right here. Black Link Go for the Vague Shadow, Rescue Rabbit, and Agent Creation of Venus. Um, Go for you guys already know is a one card deco talker. There's nothing more to be said about that. Can be abused like crazy in the World Titles deck. Rescue Rabbit can also be abused due to the fact that the normal monsters that I showed you on the first slide all are um, monsters you can abuse with the link mechanic. So what's a better way to use those than Rescue Rabbit? Then we have Agent of Creation Venus, which brings out the um, Mystical Shine Balls from your deck to the field, which also gives you another um, access to the link extra deck because a lot of the link monsters require normal monsters. The extra deck monsters. Now, the World Chalice extra deck monsters are very powerful and they are very um, spammy and they have is they are what give the deck some of its crazy amazing grind game for example we have Aram the world chalice blade master right here he points to two he is a link to attack 2000 gain 300 attack for each world legacy monster in your graveyard with a different name you contribute one world chalice monsters card points to then target one monster in your graveyard specimen to your zone this card points to you can only use the effect of Aram the blade master once per turn if this card is in from the field to the graveyard, you can spend only one World Chalice monster in your hand. So, one thing about all the World Chalice extra deck monsters, they all have the fact that when they are sent from the field to the graveyard, you bring out one from your hand. That effect can allow this deck to, to uh, withstand a um, barrage of attacks, uh, netting you advantage to the field for one, and also netting you life point protection, which is very keen. And since you bring out World Chalice monster in your hand, you can bring out the dog or the leaf fairy. Let me go back to one slot, two slides right here to help you um, do some damage pretty much. So, yeah, um, Aura is pretty good. All these guys are pretty good. And he points down to two. Now, now here we got Ningursu, the World Chalice Warrior. He requires two plus links, of course. Well, he requires either link three, but he's really easy to bring out. Um, if this car is link summon. Draw cards equal to the number of World Chalice monsters this card points to. You can only use this effect of Ningurisu, the World Chalice Warrior, once per turn. You can send one card from each player's field to the graveyard. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can summon one World Chalice monster from your hand. So he's pretty much a draw engine for the deck. If you get him out and he's pointing to two World Chalice monsters you draw, he's more of the mid combo card, so you're definitely going to run this in your extra deck as well. Um, be on the lookout because you can easily get cheated with this card. Me personally, I played against a guy at Locals who, um, I don't know if he made a mistake or whatever, but he brought him out. He just pointed to two, um, cards that were not worth Chalice and he still drew. So, you guys gotta pay attention to his effect. And then, um, yeah, you can send one card from each player's graveyard. To so, yeah, overall, he's a good monster. Then we have Ib, the World Chalice Priestess. Um, you gotta bring that one out with two monsters with different types and attributes. This card, this linked card cannot be shown by battle or card effects. Your opponent cannot target this linked card with link with card effects. If a monster or monsters, this card points to a show by battle effect or card, you can send this card to the graveyard instead. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, express them one world chalice. So yeah, they all have the same world chalice effects and she pretty much helps protect the deck and lock down that um, deck. Now, extra deck continue. This pretty much um, finishes up what the deck extra deck usually runs. And of course, they run Deco Talker. I just didn't want to make a whole slide dedicated to Deco Talker. You guys already know how powerful Deco Talker is. They run a Link Spider to help start off their zones. And they also run the um, end book, the World Chalice Dragon, who's pretty much effect pretty much reads during your main phase. You can normal summon one World Chalice monster in addition to your normal summon set. You can only use that effect once per turn. It started a damage step. The card battles on the opponent's monster. This card points to you can destroy that opponent's monster. This card sends from the field to the graveyard. Express him a one word type monster from your hand. So overall, another good card. He helps um, locking out your opponent's extra deck with the extra link. Very viable. Him and Link Spider just 
completes your um, extra link combo. Then of course we have the broken firewall dragon. Once you bring him out, you guys already know he's gonna do some damage. Once while he's on a field, you can, he's, it's a quick effect, meaning it can be used during either player's turn. You can target monsters on the field or greater up to the number of cards he points to and return them to the hand. I gotta tell you guys, that effect is very, very annoying. If a monster this card points to the storm of battle and since the graveyard expects some one monster in hand. So even though he's not world chalice, he pretty much floats well with the deck because he pretty much does the exact same thing they all do. Now, the spells. This deck pretty much runs a grand load of spells, but for the most part, I'm gonna keep it simple with some of those basic spells they run. We have Unexpected Die, if you control no monsters, especially one level for a lower normal monster from the deck. So that's good because you can bring out the um, guys that search in the first slide. Do you have World Legacy's Heart? Target two World Challenge monsters of your graveyard with different names. Add them to your hand. If you're a linked monster with destroyed by battle, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. So giving you more protection and adding and more hand control by adding cards from your graveyard to your hand. And then Brilliant Fusion, because why? Brilliant Fusion goes with everything. This should pretty much just be a joke at this point. This card is retarded. Um, bringing out your um, Seraphonite, giving you those extra normal summons, allows this deck to go off. Almost every version of the deck right now is ranked 3 until this card gets banned or hit in the TCG. Now, the deck in action. As you guys see right here, this is just me showing off how powerful the deck is in detail. Just a little snippet of how good the deck is. But for the most part, guys, um, this deck is very powerful. And I just wanted to show you guys how powerful the deck is. Now, as you guys can see, the deck has no problem taking advantage of the field, and the deck has a lot of potential in any format. So, yeah, man, just with one card, this deck can do a lot of crazy plays. Now, a good starter list to go by. Now, I got this list strictly from Japan and the OCG. You guys already know my motto. If it's good in the OCG, nine times out of ten, it can be pretty much good in the, o in the TCG. You can cross promote each other because TCG players. We get a lot of our ideas from the OCG and vice versa when the OCG get their stuff from us. Now granted, you can't just take this, you gotta take this list at face value because there are a lot of cards in this list that they have that we don't have. Like for example, they still have Pot of Avarice and they also have things like, you know, Harper's Feather Duster, they have Monster Born, and they have Rescue Rabbit at two. But we can kind of take this list, add a Brilliant Fusion and mold it into our own. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, get a big thumbs up. If you guys would like to see more Soldiers Explain series, you guys can click this icon right here. This is going to give you guys a list of all my Explain series where you can guys check them out one by one. A very popular one is my True King Dinosaur Explain series and that breaks down that deck. As you guys already know, it's probably one of the best non-link summoning decks to play. So with all that being said guys, subscribe if you haven't. This is Chris from Innovation Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm signing out. Peace, guys. Stay innovative. Deuces.